Hey everyone, this is part 3 of the Docker on M1 series. Uh, in this video, I'm going to show you temperature and how that changes on the MacBook M1 uh, when I spin up more containers. So there's this tool I have, it's called Sensei, I'll link in the description. Um, I'm on a 7 day free trial just for this demo. Um, and yeah, so this tells you temperature. And so yeah, let me just show you all the Docker containers I have open right now from last time. And I think I just turned on my computer for now, so um, yeah, so I don't think Docker is running yet, so let, let me let me set that up. Uh, okay, cool, so it looks like Docker is set up now. Um, and I had, let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven containers running last time. Um, yeah, I don't think any of these are actually running, so I'm actually just going to clear this out so I can start with a clean slate. So, uh, yeah, let me let me move a bunch of this, and also wanted to give you guys a reference point of you know what what temperature uh, my machine is right now and kind of um, what's going to happen as it <clears throat> um, does more work. So right now it's 120 degrees F. That, I think that's my reference point, but you can look at the other numbers if you're interested. Um, yeah, so let's see. Um, yeah, I had this repo called awesome-compose, which I checked out from GitHub, and yeah, I'm just going to spin up a bunch of containers like I did in my last video. Alright, so I'm going to speed through this. I spun up three containers here. And this is the temperature now. Looks like it went up to 124 degrees F. Um, yeah, and GPU also went up a lot as well. All right, so let's continue on and spin up a bunch more containers. Uh, cool, I've also pulled up the cores so y'all can see it. So yeah, it looks like um, the first thermal sensor is 131F now, and GP is 158F. Uh, cool, and GPU is it's actually not super accurate, the GPU part, because it basically goes from like 150 to like 86, so I don't think that number is like super trustworthy. Um, so anyway, just adding a few more containers here, um, just fixing some that same WordPress issue. <clears throat> And yeah, let's run that. And once that's out, let's check the thermals. Here's all the containers that are open. And yeah, GPU dropped to 80. Oh, there we go. It's like fluctuating between 86 and 156. So I actually don't know how, how good that is. Um, but yeah, I think that on the left side, 133F, it's like a little higher. And here's the sense of um, the CPU load. And here's a take, here's a look at the memory. Uh, so yeah, that's pretty much all I want to show you in this video. Um, I think it's up to you to see how you interpret these numbers. For me, it feels a little warm when I touch my laptop. And yeah, realistically, I don't really see myself having all these containers uh, for my professional development. Usually, I only need like three or four um, in a single Docker Compose file, and that's kind of what I need for my development work. Uh, but, but that may be different for you. So um, yeah, up to you to judge whether you want to buy a MacBook Pro or kind of wait until um, this software gets better. Um, or if you want to hire like RAM amount for your MacBook Pro. Right now, this is the 8 gigabyte one and maybe you need the 16 gigabyte one um, if you have a you know bigger workload. Uh, but yeah, anyway, uh, that's all I have for this video. I'm going to keep it short. Um, again, if you have suggestions, please leave a comment. Uh, thanks for watching.